Alhamdulillahi, Alhamdulillahi, Alhamdulillahi. Praise be to God. Yesterday we had our first major rain in Kumasi, or let's say certain parts of Kumasi. Uh, it was heavy and windy, but to the best of my knowledge, there was no destruction. As far as I know, we have to thank him. And people slept well. How many of us thank God for that? The previous rain was about three days ago, I think Saturday. Then yesterday's rain lasted from about uh, 6.50 p.m. to around 8.30 p.m. Like I say, no distraction. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to God. Mm? I wish everybody would praise God for that. Uh, in my last video, we talked about light and darkness. Literally, you know how it is when you are in darkness. And in a real dark room, you don't see anything. You can distinguish red, uh, black thread from red thread. We did it before. Mm? You can't see a needle. Uh, uh, but in, in light, you will see everything. You can see the whole of us, the smallest needle, and you can get your thread into it. Uh, so that is it, literally. When you go figurative, when you are in darkness, uh, to come out of it is difficult. So when you are in light, you can also derail into darkness. Like you are going to the house of God always, either Jew, Christian, or Muslim, or Syrian, then all of a sudden you get bad friends, and then instead of going to the house of God, you go to drinking bars, sit down and drink, and, you know, misbehave. And it's difficult to get out of such situations. Or on the other hand, maybe you didn't know God, you weren't praising God much, and then uh, you change from that way of life to praying to God and going to the house of God, that is also from, uh, that is from darkness to light. The previous one was from light to darkness. Uh, uh, from light to darkness. From dark, uh, darkness to light. From to from darkness to light. <clears throat> it's time today to go to Alaji Kokode's stories. And like I said, the previous papers, I didn't do them, so we are going back to them because they, they are interesting. So that's the paper I'm reading the stories from. <clears throat> and what, what's the first story? That businessman at Kanishi stopped chasing that married woman. Kanishi is a market in the capital of Ghana, capital town of Ghana, Accra. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, and what does it say? Oura Animua Oura Animua Nyamfu Oura Animua Nyamfu Onura onyanyam for sorry me pao chow di wu line mo me pao chow di wu line mo so he said Mr uh, Honourable Man hmm? I beg you stick to your lane huh? I won't be surprised if insults follow Mr Honourable Man stick to your lane I'm lucky to read this well today. Ora onyanyam for me pao chow di wu line mo. Ah, okay, it's even here. Honorable man, I beg you, be in your lane. Uh -huh. I'm referring to you that I'm referring to you that businessman at Kanishi near the Pentecostal church. So, the fellow knows who he's talking about. Everybody knows who he's, he's talking about, but he hasn't called the name. So you are not the only one in Kanishi near the Pentecostal church. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you don't want these things to happen to you, stop from doing evil. Mm -hmm. 
Now, next paragraph. You are blessed with a beautiful wedded wife, nice family of four, and a prosperous business. Why don't you want to be in line but keep follow but keep follow somebody's wife? Please, I'm reading what I see. Maybe she wants to say uh, it could be a printing error. But keep following somebody's wife. That's the right reading. That woman you are chasing is also married. You are aware she is married. Then leave her to the husband, or you shall be your mortuary, or you shall, or you shall see your mortuary number soon. <clears throat> Pardon me. So how can she see his mortuary number if the number is placed on him? He himself cannot see it. So you should rather say people will see your mortuary number soon. Hmm? Okay, or see your, or you see your, you shall see your mortuary number soon. The other, the other time she accompanied you <clears throat> to the funeral, uh, the other time she accompanied you to the funeral in far away Hohoi. Uh, the other time she accompanied you to the funeral in far away Hohoi, full stop. Then she joined you in looking for admission for that girl in Cape Coast. <laughs> I don't know where they get their stories from. So people are trailing people. Mm -hmm. For that girl in Cape Coast. She, Cape Coast is another city in uh, Ghana. She regularly visits your plush offices at the industrial area and stays late as if she is the watchman at your place. All for regular bedmatics with you. And, what is, and that is wrong. <clears throat> another paragraph. Your, for heaven's sake, Stop chasing this woman else. Uba Tewopiga. Uba Tewopiga is, a comma, is a, an expression. Then you, will, you will see the, your bad consequences. You see the consequences. And it's normally bad. Bad man like you. Uh -huh, he started. He said, bad man like you. Fear God and save your life. Eh? Mejidam <laughs> Baza. <laughs> you know, Mejidam Banza is also is a very bad landlord. Hmm? Or well, Mejida can also be referred to head of a family. Hmm? So he has ended it up after persuading him. The journalist has ended it up by insult. Mejidam Banza, <laughs> bad landlord, bad family man. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next story. That Cacafianto journalist. You cry, what do you know? He said, he said but you journalist, what do you know? Mm -hmm. So he starts so slowly, and then when he's stopping, he stops abruptly with a brick <laughs> once, at once. And the brick means insults. Mm -hmm. But he will start slowly. So you, Kura, what do you know? You are too sabi sabi. Too sabi sabi means you are too known. Hmm? You are too sabi sabi. You talk as if you hold philosophy degrees. That's PhDs. In you, as if you hold uh, philosophy degrees in all subjects, which are taught in universities. Then into brackets, you professor in lies. <clears throat> Next paragraph. When it comes to local politics, you squirk and spit lies when you are on air. I am at, I am at a loss as to where and who taught you journalism. Join this journalism. Uh, who taught you journalism? Full stop. Then he, he continues. Join this journalism cannot end and will not cannot uh, join this journalism will cannot and will not help Ghana in any way. Uh, <clears throat> next paragraph. Put personal interests aside and speak factually on issues and programs you know you know much about and stop messing around as if you are the alpha and omega in all topics that come for discussion in the radio on the radio. New paragraph. 
a bird whispered in my ears that you could not even pass your exams, yet you, yet you took to the risk, yet you took the risk to tutor professors on topics you know next to nothing about. Such life is suicidal. I don't know how much about you. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know much about you, but others know from A to Z about you to behave well. About but others know from A to Z about you. So behave well and stop portraying yourself as a guru. For you cannot definitely be more Catholic than the poop in room. You are cacafiento, so change. Well, I don't know what cacafiento means, but it, it is actually not a desirable word. <clears throat> next, next story. Your worship, this judge is corrupt. Your worship, this judge is corrupt. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, yeah. your worship, this judge is correct. My lord, do you want promotion from cocoa affairs to the high court or you are seeking stagnation or demotion to Ochibetate? I don't understand that. I don't know, to Ochi. Mm, to achieve better away. Mm. Okay, I don't understand that. So, so it follows with achieve better away. Magistrate court in the rural country in Ashanti. <clears throat> in the rural country in Ashanti. New paragraph. I know judges have ethics and should be above board and reproach. As a matter of judge, after as a matter of judicial principle, a judge should decline sitting on a case when a party in dispute is related or known to him or her in any pending case. <clears throat> yours is peculiar. You, your, yours is peculiar, comma. You as a judge was, on, was an interested party and a beneficiary to that land so what are you I are, are, are you saying? But it's written as so what are you saying? Mm -hmm. Maybe printing error again. <clears throat> Next paragraph. Threatening to rule against that woman and her overlord. To appeal against your ruling if not satisfied. Threatening to rule against that woman and her overlord. To appeal against you, rule against your ruling if not satisfied. Oh, it's a question. So it's see. Let me read it well. Threatening to rule to rule against that woman and her overlord to appeal against your ruling if not satisfied. So you can you can imagine a judge telling somebody. Hmm? And she will do it. <clears throat> Next paragraph. You've already ruled you've already ruled though the case is Incomplete. <clears throat> yes, you've seen that by seeing, so he has already ruled. Uh -huh. You are a bad example of positive change. Full stop. Judge, full stop. The, the judicial secretary, chief justice, attorney, chief justice, comma, attorney general, comma, uh, judicial council will all hear about this case. Wallahi. Huh? Wallahi, uh, what do you call it? I've forgotten that now. Uh, then, he follows. Mutumi Mbanza Julo Ewi Pia Futo. The insults have come here. The break has come abruptly. Mm -hmm. So, Mutumi Mbanza is again Hausa. Bad man. Mm -hmm. Julo. Thief. A wee thief. 
Pierre Fitor, I believe also thief. Hmm? You think the cause you think the cause is your creation? Uh -huh. You think the cause is your creation and personal property is a question. Wait and see. Next <clears throat> gossip. So I can see that this uh, journalist, people like him and feed him with news mm, or feed him with the behaviors of people. <clears throat> so people like him, like I do like him, and I believe my viewers too, <clears throat> or people used to like him. Chief, you are corrupt. Shame unto you. Go home and rule. As a chief, you know the rules. You are supposed to be the father of all your people. You are to suffer. You are you are to offer assistance when the need arises. You are to be caring and accessible to all. <clears throat> but you are the opposite. You are a rook, a liar, big one indeed, extortionist. Calibly, pro calibly proper and a cheat on top. I think I've explained calibly before. Uh, illegal matters. Mm? Any illegal matters. <clears throat> Why have you come to take refuge? Huh? Why have you come to take refuge here in Accra? We are not in political crisis to warrant any asylum seeking. We are in free Ghana. But you are not free because your ways are crooked. Of course, if you don't live straight life, you are not free. Hmm? <clears throat> Any fugitive will be hiding from place to place. Hmm? You don't fear God. That is why you are in a mess like that. I am challenging you to go back home in the forest of Ashanti and bring a to face your people. Who, who you claim to rule over. Accra is not your home. You are a stranger here. Go home and rule over your people if you are a man with balls in between your ties. <clears throat> well, I have I just continued. I don't know where it was going, so please pardon me. Uh, uh -huh, he has finished. He said, Don't do the work up. Shige. <laughs> this is a new program. What is it? It's a damn Duruaka. Shige. <laughs> I've explained that Duruaka before. Uh, uh, son of your mother's private part. And then Shige means bastard. <laughs> so imagine telling a chief like this, uh, saying these words to a chief. It means he's extremely wayward. Oh yes, don't do work, shaggy. Mutumim Banza, bad man. He followed his, his follows it with Mutumim Banza, bad man. During the political campaign days of 2-0-0, you behave like a saint and King Farouk of Saudi Arabia, lavishing, polit lavishing politicians. You behave like a sheep and King Farouk of Saudi Arabia, lavishing politicians with money. Now, now knowing the monies were borrowed. Go home and harvest your palm nuts. It's lucky he has palm nuts to harvest. Sankonu, Sankonu wabe, Sankonu wabe, in chi, if you are a man. Sankonu wabe. And I think Sankonu wabe means go and Eat your abe palm nuts. If you are a man. <clears throat> New paragraph. We are watching you critically and shall inform your creditors and pursuers. Full stop. Dansoma is not Russia. Well, there is another Russia in Accra anyway, maybe not the Russia proper. So, Dansoma is not Russia. They need no passport. To chase you there. Ah, okay, I think it's the proper Russia. Mm. They need they need no passport to chase you there. <clears throat> so the chief is currently as Dansuma 
And this writer is telling him that Dansuma, the people in the forest areas do not need any passport to chase him there. They can just go there like they are walking from house to house. Uh -huh. To chase you there. A hunter dwe echri. A hunter dwe echri obiara anuo. A obiara anu wa onyami ahu. O dada. Onyami ahu o dada. Can I make a meaning out of this? It's true. Okay, but I'm not making it. A hunter dwe echri. Obiara hu, obiara hu, onyamia hu dada. Or the last part, God has seen you already, and uh, everybody has seen you already. God has seen you already. The first part I can make it out. Those who understand, you can. So that is the uh, gossip in this paper. Let's see if we can do something in another paper. <coughs> <clears throat> so this is the paper I'm taking now. I'm, like I'm saying, I'm going back to them. Hmm? Because of Elijah Kukudi stories. <clears throat> Elijah Kukudi hot gossip. That married woman at the junction stroke Dansuma. Oh, madame, now so they will be? I thought you were honest, principled, and sincere in your deeds and utterances as woman. I don't want to mention your vocation or profession, as that shall compel me to scream like a crazy man and pounce on you to exact my pound of flesh for my brother, for my brother, your innocent and affable husband. Mm -hmm. So this writer is saying that this woman's husband is his brother, mm -hmm. whether true brother or <clears throat> not, I don't know. Why do you allow people, the so-called big and rich, to climb on you with a least enticement. You give a small list, a small thing, small gift, and you are on her. That's what I understand by this. With the least enticement. Are these useless are these useless big or rich people richer, nicer, or better than your husband, than your husband is? Well, you can't understand. Where love is, there is blindness. Hmm? So, a question. Huh? Are these useless, big, and rich people richer, nicer, and better than your husband is? Hmm? A new paragraph. I'm sorry and saddened when I saw Feely Feely, your pictorial character, on my screens. How can a married woman be traveling with this man and that man, with this man and that man, to this town and that town? without the courteous permission from your husband. So she goes back with other men other than her husband, husband from town to town, to, uh, from town to town, eh? <clears throat> without permission from your husband. It is shameful for you to behave in such way when people know you are married with two kids. Well, I've said it, the stories here are not peculiar to Ghana. They happen everywhere, all around the world. Because mankind is one in character. It's only the color that uh, distinguishes us from one another. Remember, it abounds in the society like refuse. You can get contaminated and consigned to premature death and the consequences very costly. Don't think people don't know or see through your actions. You are on the local internet and on front page of Love Life. And the, on the front page of Lava Life. With a list twist, you shall see and hear Seo. Well, I don't know what it means. Hmm? Uh, Seo means uh, say it. 
to my understand. So that means say it. That means, and that's why she's doing it. She's saying it. If I'm right. If that happens, don't blame, don't blame me, Alaji Konkode. Don't blame me, Alaji Konkode, the gossiper, for I am all ears, eyes, and nose, 24 hours and 36 degrees, everywhere you are warned. Mugumata. <laughs> <laughs> he's followed with uh, his son, Mugumata. He said, bad woman or wayward woman. Hmm? <laughs> oh, uh, I've lost the place. Okay, I've seen it. Mugumata, a shower woman. A shift for? Ojaman for? Ojaman for? Stop it. Or you are doomed. So a shower woman is a call girl or prostitute, if you like. Hmm? A shifuro, I don't know, but it means it may mean the same thing. Then a German for that's sexually wayward woman. Stop it, or you are damned. So the insults have come. Hmm? So the egg starts slowly and then ends at once. But it doesn't end slowly. It ends with heavy, heavy, heavy insults. Next paragraph. Mami Agbo, do you know what is in your stock? What is not? Do you know what is in stock for you? Habba. So, if you did not go to school and you are stuck electric, you do not have native sense, popularly called common sense. Mm -hmm. So, Habba is an expression when something happens that shouldn't have happened. Something abnormal happens. You say habba. Mm? It's also, as far as I know, it's Hausa language. So, <clears throat> popularly, so if she, if she hasn't gone to school, doesn't she have common sense? That's what this writer is saying. Why were you divorced? Mm -hmm. It's now going back to the woman's history. Why were you divorced? Why were you divorced? Was it your coke? Was it your cocoa color face? Or Fanta legs? Or chocolate hands and tummy? I hope so. So either she was divorced. There are so many reasons why this writer is guessing. There are so many reasons why, reasons why she was divorced. And he's asking whether it was her Coca-Cola face, that's black face, and Fanta legs, that is fair legs, fair colored legs, or and chocolate hands. That means all parts of the body <laughs> have different colors. <laughs> Maybe because of the improper use of uh, light, lighten, or uh, what do you call it, ointments, or improper use of one ointment. So one part of the body is different color from the other. Uh, so you look more a monkey. Papa. <laughs> you look more a monkey, an ape. A real caricature in your present state. Oh my God! And the woman knows it, but she can't say anything. This why it's able to do bad. This is what happens when, even without newspapers, you will be walking around and people will be pointing hands and saying all nasty things about you, but you don't know. But luckily, Alaji Kokode is there to see these things without fear. Uh -huh. So let me repeat it. You look more a monkey and ape, a real caricature in your present state. So if you have no husband, do your sisters, friends, and children fail to tell you how your face looks like? Oh my God. I tell you, even me, Alaji Konkode, with my 99 years on earth. Abba. <laughs> so now he's saying that a 99 year old is saying this is. Well, it's not surprising. I'm going there. Hmm? I'm getting there. Inshallah, God willing. Uh, I tell you, even me, Alaji Kokode, with my 99 years on earth, uh, as an old man like, as an old man will reject you with contempt, if offered, together with all the dollars 
of EcoBank and the gold and the gold of Obuasi free of charge. So this writer is saying that if she offers herself to the to he the writer with all the dollars in the world hmm, and all the gold in Obuasi, that's the gold uh, reservoir in uh, Ghana in Obuasi, he will not accept her. So I say, like I said before, he's a principled man. Uh, you look filthy. Mm -hmm. Today, my agent shall offer you a copy of Love and Life free. So this paper will be given to her. Love and Life. She'll be sitting there and an agent will come and say, Madam, take. But is she paying for it? Mm -hmm. You smell. You are ugly. Oh my God. You smell. You are ugly. Above all, hopeless. Be above all, hopeless. Because of your nansu air, air being wrinkled face. Because of your nansu, nansu air being wrinkled face. Well, nansu air being those who understand tree well will know it. Uh, and he has described it, qualified it with the word wrinkled face. Mm -hmm. Or with the description wrinkled face. Why should you breach uh -huh, your body to such levels? Look around. And see other women, especially the literates, do they breach? You illiterate, you illiterate market, you illiterate market woman who styles openly as businesswoman. Look, look at your situation now. Because of the millions you have acquired through buying and selling trade, you call yourself a businesswoman. My foot. Uh, you have a nice home, a new paragraph. You have a nice home, a car, three kids from your divorced husband, and nobody seems to be interested in you because you are a caricature now. That, that who hoodious man is chopping your money free. He won't marry you at all because if you follow him to, because if you follow him, to Kowu Obo, you shall be the center of attraction. If Kumasi could not hold you, how can Otto Kowu sustain you? I am praying you, I'm praying you don't get accident to push you to Kolebu. No operation for you uh, to Kolebu. Full stop. No, uh, comma. No operation for you. Professor Frimpong Boate had ruled against breaching, so death is your prize. Oh, woman, where is your pride? Shame, shame unto you. So if you, if this man follows the uh, boyfriend to the, uh, his town, Okowu Obo, in fact, everybody will stop everything they are doing and look at her because of her uh, looks. Mm -hmm. And she's praying for her not to have an excess because no operation can be performed for her because of the excessive breaching. <clears throat> so if the woman could listen, it would have helped her a lot. Uh, next story. That party chairman, you again? You, sir? Oh, yes, sir. Do you know you are a big minus to your party? Don't ask why. That's, it's, giving her, it's giving him an order. Are you aware your businesses are more than your pluses? Oh, sorry, are you, are you aware your minuses are more than your pluses? You sabu well, well. That means you know well, well. You sabu well, well means you know well, well. As for me, Alaji Konkonde, gossip is my hobby. <laughs> and he gets it. Uh, talk through. It's my game. Uh, talk through is my game. Okay, that's nice. And I don't fear who. I don't fear who. Who is spelled H-U-U and starts with capital letter. If I don't, my facts... If I have my facts intact, my crutchy power is my weapon. Uh, the crutchy power means the uh, power of his knowledge. Oh, that means he's learned. A learned person is called crutchy, or an educated, Western educated person is called crutchy.
crutch. So that's what he means by crutch power. And that is his weapon. Let me see if I can get it. <laughs> my crutch power is my weapon. Next paragraph. You say you are chairman and your position justifies what you say or shall say even in court. You are a dreamer. You are kidding. That's not the rule of law. That also is not zero tolerance for corruption. That's not lenient in the greater campaign for discipline. That's not lenient in the, uh, in the uh, greater campaign for discipline. So where and what are you? Where and what are you? You are corrupt or corrupting the very institutions you are supposed to guard. At your age, a uh, new sentence, a uh, new paragraph. At your age, you should know better. With your current position, you must live above reproach, above reproach, dash, float, float, and float. But we are sinking, sinking, and sinking. Why? Why? You're a bad father. Uh -huh. You're a bad father, a bad leader, and a bad party chairman. Make no mistakes. You should refuse to release. Make no mistakes. Should you refuse to release that salon? Do, should you? Oh, the salon is not it's spelled S U L L S U L O O N. Maybe instead of S U. Okay, okay, I think it's right. If you. If you refuse to release that saloon car seized and packed in your house to that young man and settle peacefully your misunderstandings by the weekend. Uh -huh. Make no mistake, should you refuse to, I'm making no mistake, should you refuse to release that saloon uh, car seized and packed in your house in in your house to that young man uh, and settle peacefully your misunderstanding by the weekend. <clears throat> you shall that means it's seize somebody's car and packed it in how in the house. How? Oh. Mm? Okay, let me come. Uh, let's go. I shall gear up. I shall gear all my warfare arsenals against you more forcefully than your burden independent of honorable Cabras, honorable Cabras fame. I thought it was a political, uh, a media game, but I have been proved wrong. Your house is not a court, nor a police station, nor harbor exhibits. Uh, to harbor exhibits, sorry, your house is not a court or a police station to harbor exhibits. The police acted and professionally to release an exhibit and subject of dispute to you, a party in a case. We're not small boys to be bullied with political machism. We're more than that. Please, for your good self, your party's image and other consequential goodies, comply as a man of wisdom for a quick truce or see you or you will be exposed more, see, or we see, see it, see more. Look at your portman, look at your portmanteau head with that. <laughs> yes, it's ended at once. Huh? Uh, look at your portmanteau head with the cockroach like face of yours. Mugumbaba. <laughs> Up and say, how can the hell be like a portmanteau? Look at a portmanteau. A, a, look at your portmanteau head with that cockroach-like face. How do you see the face of a cockroach? Eh? With that cockroach-like face of yours, Mugumbaba. Mugumbaba means bad father or bad leader. So let's go. To, let's see if we can finish the last story. Uh, Papa Court Registrar, you are not a judge, so behave or see you at Ubuasi. Mm. Uh, it starts 
I'm very sorry for you. I'm very sorry for your for you, Register. Do you know or are you aware of the revolution going on in the judicial service, in the judicial system nationwide? Or you are the only stranger in Jerusalem. That's a new prayer. Or you are the only stranger in Jerusalem. You are a joker indeed. Don't think you are. Don't think you are in rural Adansi, far away Obwasi, so you can behave like you are. You can behave like you are the alpha and omega of law, the judiciary, and the executive. Why do you threaten a suspect with detention when he comes to demand court proceedings to further his case before the court you work to further his uh, his proceedings to, to further to further his case before the court you work as registrar. Is that not your duty? Uh, is that is that not your duty? Look, if you cannot work and clothe yourself in corruption, if you cannot work, uh, but rather clothe your this that is my word, uh, but rather clothe yourself in corruption. An empty threats, better pack yourself out from uh, Ojibiasi before I reach there. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? You can only get facts about him. I'm going to expose him. Uh, but that's important, more important even than the violence. Okay, there are so many unemployed people roaming the streets for jobs, and you are lucky to have had one. And you are fool in eh? You are lucky to have one and you are fool in eh? Mm. Okay, keep business, keep keep buzzing, and very soon the society shall be free from the clutches of a drunkard like you, who threats and frets as if the whole world is for you. New paragraph. Even the judge has got his limits. He is not the Supreme Court. For the nor the chief justice, nor the chief justice, these two have their limits as well, because they are not, because they are not the constitution, which is the supreme law in Ghana. How can you treat a poor farmer like a hardened criminal? Is it not a is it not a family or marriage case? I have learned of the back door, of the back door maneuvers, of the bad I've learned of the back door maneuvers, full stop. Take it from me. Very soon the whole skeleton will be exposed. You Kakafiento judge, you Kakafiento jud judicial personnel, full stop. Next paragraph. We are soon finishing. The courts are not markets. The courts are not market to bargain for money. They are for interpretation and enforcement of the laws of the land. You can bully, cheat, extort, exploit the village folks for some time. But God willing, we shall catch up. We shall catch up with you. Look at uh -huh, look at the ending. Look at your balding motorway. <laughs> Motorway is the head when there is no hair on the head. So that's why he's referring to motorway. <laughs> he says, look at your balding motorway. You don't think of your poor north. You have come to the forest to join <laughs> to join rooks to perpetrate in discipline. <laughs> the man is from the northern part of Ghana, which, which is a savannah area plain. Hmm? He has come from there to join rooks in the southern part, which is forest. Eh? Eh? <laughs> so let me repeat that. Look at your balding motorway. Hmm? That means he has no hair on his head, or it is losing, nah? not completely, but balding. Eh? Look at your balding motorway. Motorway. You think you, uh, you think, of, you think of your poor north, and uh, you should think of his poor north. You have come to, to the forest to join rooks. To perpetuate indiscipline. You know the northern part of Ghana is savannah. 
the, the, it's not forest. Then you come to the middle part, it's forest. Then you go to the southern part, Accra, it's also savanna. There, is, there are no trees, something like that. So he's one of the man. You should think of his north. He shouldn't come to the forest area and join rooks. So I think we'll end here. Uh, thank you very much. Illa Likai.